what's happening, YouTube? <laughs> I'm here. A little hard to see. It's so dark in here, but the sun will be up in a little bit. And the girls are crashed. <clears throat> this is my <laughs> time of day that uh, I do a lot of... Uh, what's the word a lot of thinking <laughs> poke around see what's the latest and the greatest <laughs> trump's property in florida being raided by the fbi i mean there's always something out there floating around so at this time of day i get caught up on some stuff poke around on the youtube -y. Poke around on the idiot box to see what's going on in the stock market. <sighs> Drink my coffee. And uh, strategize. I do a lot of thinking this time of day when it comes to figuring out my next move. I had a long talk with Tattoo Dave yesterday and... Uh, I was telling him how when I uh, was really pushing hard for this Misfit Island thing and came across Senior Wes Watson <laughs> and listened to his spiel and watched him blow up from a park bench to a penthouse. That was no bullshit story, right? He has put his money where his mouth is, as they say, right? And I'm thinking, fuck, man. If that motherfucking convict can do it, I can do it. Fuck you, right? And a lot of my cheerleading for that bitch was because he inspired me to do the same thing, right? <clears throat> Get blown up online and shit starts happening, right? People start watching, people start listening. I could get eyes on Misfit Island would take off like a rocket, right? I, this vision of mine was crystal clear. And it just never happened, right? The channel never caught on. Nothing went viral. You know, I struggle with the paperwork aspect of what I need to do. I struggle with making phone calls and doing secretary type shit, as I like to say, right? Somebody that's on the phone, call this person, call that person, make this appointment, make that appointment, email this, scan that, do this, do that, all that fucking shit, that, fuck that, man, that is way, that, that stresses me out just thinking about it, right? And I thought I would have help with that by now. And I don't. And then, like I said, like with today, about what when the shit blew up next door, it just was too much, man. I'm like, fuck it. I'm done with this shit show. I really thought I could pull it off. Like I said, if that fucking convict could do it, I could do it, right? I got a solid story. I got war stories that... Few motherfuckers can match, right? And if they can, they're not out here running their fucking mouth about it. Not like I do. Just saying, right? If that ain't enough motivation to get a motherfucker to trust me, to throw money at my project, not at me. I got mine. I don't need your fucking money. My dogs, my foster children needed the money, right? It just didn't happen. And it does. It absolutely crushes me. You want to fucking call me a quitter? Call me a quitter. I don't give a fuck, motherfuckers. Because my heart's in the right place. My skill set and my money is short, right? I didn't go viral. I'm not Wes Watson, right? It just didn't work. I got to survive, right? I got to live out my time. I can't keep beating my head against the wall with this bullshit. It's just too much. I'm too tired. I'm burnt out physically and physically, physically and emotionally. 
<clears throat> right? This shit weighs on me. This responsibility, I've been pushing myself for this for a long time. This is all I've wanted. That's why I bought this property. This property's way too much for me. It's a waste. Having the barn and the shop and the house and the steel building. I'm going to do a video today of the property a little more in depth, right? Go walk through the mechanic shop, take you into the loft, take you into the barn, take you into the loft, take you into the steel building, right? With a flashlight so you can see it's kind of dark back there, right? The guest house, take you for a tour through the guest house, take you for a tour through this house. It's amazing what this property has to offer. Absolutely amazing. And then not to mention 30 acres, one, two, three, four separate fields that have already been cleared. And two of them need to be cleaned up. The other two were fucking pretty much cleared smooth. I ain't been back in those other two fields since last season, right? Whenever, right after winter in the fall. No, spring, right? Yeah, when the melted, when everything melted, I got to see what the fuck was out there. And I got an old video up here from back in the day. And it's still up there, me walking around. So, I think, maybe I took it down. Irregardless, this property really is spectacular. And I have yet to see anything like it. And why the family didn't buy it back. Whatever family drama dynamics, that's too bad for you guys that I got this. But you know what? What I paid for it was way too cheap, as far as I can see. You know, just the infrastructure alone, what it would cost to build all this shit on 30 acres. Are you kidding me? That's why I say 555000 to me is actually a realistic price for this property. Try to find one like it for cheaper. I've been looking. I ain't found them, right? They're either super fancy and they're 900 and up or they're weak and they're three, four, 500 and they don't compare. So I ain't tripping on getting a good price for this place. I just am in no hurry, right? I'm gonna play this out however it plays out, but I'm gonna leave this property because the Misfit Island project never went viral, right? I never got blown up enough to really make it work. And I thought, well, fuck it. I'll just keep going and keep going. I'll grind it out. Eventually, it'll it'll slowly materialize. But it's not going to materialize in their front yard, right? My neighbors that surround me, it makes me uncomfortable, right? I will feel uncomfortable for the rest of my life living here. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way I could stay here now. <laughs> For me to stay here, they would have to kiss my ass and give me that fucking property and say, we're sorry, right? We had you all wrong, blah, blah, blah. And that ain't gonna fucking happen, right? They got their motives. They got their hustle. They got their mindset. They got their religion. <laughs> yeah, and I know you're watching. Sure. I don't care, right? I speak my truth. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I don't give a fuck. You pushed up on me, right? So I'm pushing back. Like I said, this property will go to the highest bidder, whoever the fuck that is. And I'm going to enjoy myself while I'm here, right? With fences and cameras and shit, oh my, right? I will be fine. I will be out here enjoying, making fun videos, plinking, critter catching critters on the fucking game cameras and shit i'll have fucking gadgets all over this fucking place because that's part of my investment right i want footage of this joint i want to catch all the cool little critters i want some footage of a snapping turtle right i want some bald eagles i want to see a beaver right there's all kinds of critters up here in in this neck of the woods that i was had no clue besides the deer that come eat in my yard every evening off the apples that fall on the ground 
it's I watch it every day now. It, it's just so I was telling Dave, it's so therapeutic for me to sit in this chair, look out this fucking window and watch those deer eat. You know what? Maybe I'll make that a little series. Every night I'll do a little five minute video of the deers eating and me just keeping my mouth shut. It, it, and you just watch them eat. Peace and quiet as long as the doggies aren't barking. It is so tranquil. Anyway, it's like my doggies, right? My doggies give me a feeling that humans don't give me, right? They make me feel that that warm fuzzy feeling right of love call it whatever you want but when you didn't have much of it as a kid this the end of my life my dogs are all i got and i trust them their behavior doesn't change their Motives are pure. It's love. It's instinct, right? They do what they do because of instinct, right? Pure love. No agenda, right? And if you're broken, well, I get you. A lot of these old dogs that are in shelters are way broken sad I want the ones that are scared tucked in a corner with their tail tucked that's my dog I'm going to live out my day saving dogs but it's just going to be by myself right like I said shit never went viral so hasta la vista baby and anyone want to criticize that Where's your fucking money, right? Did you throw in on Misfit Island? Did you help? Did you help build this? Are, are you fucking, you know, fixing my fucking fence, right? So, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all, especially if you didn't throw in, homie. You want to keep the dream alive? You should have fucking spread it. You should have helped things go viral. You should have called Keanu Reeves and said, hey, fucking go check out Johnny O. Trying to do a good thing over there. And he keeps getting fucked off, right? What are you doing, right? I showed what I was doing. Right to a fucking stalker to my doorstep, right? That'll never happen again once I leave here. Like I said, I put everything on the line for this. And now it's time to go. So... Short of them giving me that fucking property and kissing my ass or Keanu Reeves knocking on my door, Misfit Island is dead, right? It is alive in my heart and soul and always will be. And I will do it on my own terms alone quite easily. It just won't be living large, right? Johnny didn't do the Wes Watson thing, right? I didn't get viral, <laughs> Shit just didn't happen. So. I hope I made that fucking crystal clear. It's important to me that people understand exactly. Who and what you've been watching. Right. Who I am and what I am as a man. Too many people in this day and age don't know how to be a fucking man, right? Bunch of fucking pussies out there running around tail tucked. Don't know how to stand up for yourself. Don't know how to be respectful when you stand up for yourself. Being stern doesn't mean being a dickhead, right? All this snowflake shit, it kills me. All this people standing around with their hand out. Joe Rogan running his fucking mouth about how he's a liberal because he was on welfare. Motherfucker, please. Welfare's a joke. 
Welfare is a fucking joke. It's how they keep you a slave, right? Keep you on the titty. Should have taught me a fucking career when I was a kid, right? Should have learned me something because I couldn't read. Should have learned me to work with my fucking hands. I would have excelled much earlier in life, right? Instead of feeling like a fucking retard. And stumbling across fucking dyslexia. Stumbling across CPTSD. You know, just fucking stumbling through fucking life. But you know what? I'm no bumbling idiot. Most people are bumbling fucking idiots. That's why I disconnect. I can't handle it no more. People don't know how to love and respect each other, so I don't want nothing to do with you. And I failed at attracting the Misfit Island tribe or whatever I had envisioned in my dome. It just never fucking materialized, so... I'm turning 60 right quick, right? I'm long in the tooth. I don't have the energy. I don't have the fucking money to continue this fucking pursuit. As much as I wish I could, as much as I would love to, I just don't have any gas in the gas tank, motherfucker. And there ain't nobody standing there with the, with the fucking nozzle to fill it up, right? You want to talk shit, but you ain't contributing, motherfucker, right? As a kid, we used to go cruising, right? You get in your whip and you go drive around and holler at people in the other car, like American Graffiti, right? We did, used to go cruising all the time. That's it's, it, I, that's sad that kids don't do that no more. Instead, they go spinning donuts and, and it's fuck the police and they're crashing their cars and acting a fool. We didn't do that shit. We cruised the El Camino Real, right? We hollered at each other. And if you jumped in somebody's car to go cruising with them, you had to throw in for gas, right? Everybody was held responsible for their actions, right? You were right down to throwing in on some gas money to go cruising. There was no free rides when I was a kid. I grew up on welfare food stamps and cockroaches, Rogan. And got nothing to do with being a liberal or a conservative, you stupid fuck. Such an idiot, man. I, I, there's another guy that gets so many fucking eyeballs, but I could pick his game apart. Anyway. And it's because people don't fucking walk the walk. They talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. Right? You want to talk shit to me on my channel? But you ain't out here building Misfit Island. Right? Rogan wants to talk about being on welfare and being a liberal? Shit. How many fucking homeless people have you got off the street, motherfucker, with your bazillions of dollars? Anyway. I woke up, Kimba. <laughs> She's going to be over here right quick to shut me up. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come here. It's all right. Come here. Come here. You can give Papa a kiss. Come here. Pop in here. <laughs> oh, there's some breath. Yeah, well, now that I woke up my daughter, I'm going to get off this fucking gadget. My rant is done. It's time to spend some time with my girls in peace and quiet. So, uh, there you go. Good morning from me and the girls. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Do what you do. Peace.